Welcome back to our channel, where we unravel the mysteries of the microscopic world. Today's episode is all about centrioles, those tiny powerhouses within cells that have an immense impact. Join us as we dive deep into their structure, pinpoint their whereabouts, and decode the vital roles they play. Let's get started. Let's kick things off by exploring the intriguing structure of centrioles. These cylindrical organelles are a marvel to behold. Picture this. They're composed of not one, not two, but nine sets of triplet microtubules, intricately arranged in a cylindrical pattern. Fascinatingly, Centrioles sport this unique configuration called the triplet microtubule complex. Unlike many cellular components, centrioles stand out for what they lack, a lipid bilayer membrane. Instead, they're primarily woven from protein filaments, making them true structural wonders. Now that we're acquainted with their structure, let's explore the whereabouts of these cellular marvels. Picture a bustling neighborhood known as the centrosome, the centrioles home sweet home. Imagine this, a pair of centrioles, one standing tall and perpendicular to the other. This unique arrangement within the centrosome isn't just eye-catching, it's vital for tasks like microtubule organization and centriole duplication. However, Keep in mind that mature plant cells often give centrioles a miss, making this a feature primarily found in animal cells. Now that we've laid the groundwork, let's uncover the remarkable role centrioles play in the cellular symphony. First up, we have microtubule organization. Centrioles are like conductors, orchestrating microtubules to maintain cellular shape and stability. In the grand dance of cellular division, centrioles take center stage. They step into the role of spindle poles, ensuring that chromosomes are divvied up accurately during cell division. And let's not forget cilia and flagella, those cellular extensions that enable movement and sensation. Centrioles are the architects behind the scenes, constructing basal bodies that anchor these cellular movers and shakers. The plot thickens with centriole duplication. Envision a new, daughter, centriole sprouting adjacent to the, mother, centriole during the S phase of the cell cycle. The magicians behind this intricate act, Regulatory stars like PLK4 and SAS6, orchestrating this delicate ballet. But every story has its shadows. Defects in centriole structure or function usher in a cast of characters known as kiliopathies. These human diseases and disorders, like polycystic kidney disease, bardet beadle syndrome, and primary ciliary dyskinesia, are a testament to the far-reaching impact of centriole-related issues. And there you have it, an awe-inspiring exploration of centrioles, their architecture, their abode, and their action-packed roles within cells. We hope you enjoyed this journey into the microscopic universe. If you found this as captivating as we did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more riveting insights into the world of science. Until next time, keep questioning and keep exploring.